Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about The Only Way is Essex and this has been insanely requested by you guys and every time somebody requested it I was like uh, and the more people requested it the more I thought you know what, I've got to do this video and the reason I didn't want to do this video was not because I was repulsed by the show but more, more so because I didn't really know how I felt I'm in two minds about this, when I'm watching it I don't mind it but when I reflect back, I think that was the biggest waste of my life ever. You know, I've completely wasted an hour or 45 minutes. Um, it's not bad. It's, put it this way, it's not as bad as Big Brother. And I detest Big Brother. It's not as bad as Big Brother. So, for those of you who haven't seen it, the only way is Essex is based on a group of Essex people, young Essex people. Um, you don't notice I'm emphasising the word people for some reason. People from Essex. And basically just what they get up to, it's apparently based on truth, but a lot of it is scripted. And you can tell straight away that they're acting. Now they're not complete actors, they haven't been hired, well to my knowledge, at least what we're told, they haven't just been hired as such. It is sort of based on their true life and what they actually do get up to. For example, um, Amy is a beautician, beauty therapist, something like that. And that would be her actual career outside of the show, but they just made a program out of it and scripted bits. Which I think is fairly interesting. They are honest that a lot of it has been made up, so we can't exactly say, oh, well, that's completely false. They've just done that for the cameras. Because we are told straight away, at the very beginning of the episodes, that it is a lot of it is scripted. So I think, you know, kudos to them for actually telling us straight away so we don't make assumptions. And that really gives them the one-up sort of thing, which is really good. Now, as much as the Essex accent is not my favourite accent in the world, I do actually quite like it on this program. It is actually kind of nice. The only thing, bits of it I can watch. I can't sit and watch an entire episode. You know, for example, with Holby City, don't know why I'm using that as, as an example. But I, I put on Holby City and I'm glued to the screen for an hour. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. The only way is Essex. I don't mind having it on in the background, but it's not exactly engaging and gripping to sit and just watch it and stare at the screen for an hour. That would be mind numbing. I really couldn't do that at all. But I don't mind watching some of the best clips on YouTube and things, but just watching a full episode I just can't do. Because it is so... It's embarrassing, it's cringing, it's really kind of like, oh, am I actually watching this? Shouldn't I be watching a documentary about how snails reproduce or something? You know, I, it's so mind-numbing. As I said, yes, it can be funny, but I can take it in small doses only. And as you can see, I have completely contrasted my own opinion there completely, which is why I was really sort of... I, I tried to plan this video for ages, trying to work out what I'd say, but I thought at the end of it, I can't. It confuses me so much, this program, because, as I said, it is sometimes entertaining, but not entertaining enough for me to sit and watch every episode every time. So if I'm in the mood for it, I'll watch snippets, but it's not for me. For example, I've just done um, ghost hunting with The Only Way is Essex, and I love event fielding. And I hadn't seen Ghost Hunting With because I had not had the opportunity. But right now on iPlayer, I believe, Ghost Hunting With is on. And then I noticed it was Ghost Hunting With The Only Way Is Essex. And I was like, no, I can't stomach watching that. So it's even making me miss out on Ghost Hunting With, which is a bit of a shame. But no, it's okay. Um, somebody tweeted me when I said I was going to do this video. They said it's going to be really negative, isn't it? And I'm like... Not necessarily, we'll see. So it's not completely negative, I'm not dimming the show down completely because it's not appalling, it has done well, it's award winning, so it's, you know, it's obviously done something right. Just personally for me, it's not one which I would watch every day, I wouldn't bother buying the DVDs, I don't follow any of the cast on Twitter, I don't care, I don't, you know, they're, they're so cliche characters, you know, they're typical wannabe a celebrity people. But um, it, it, it's okay for entertainment purposes. But if you're looking for something educational and in-depth and something that will make you think, don't watch it. So if you haven't seen it, go and check out a couple of clips on YouTube first of all. Because it took me a long time to actually watch it. Because I was like, this is going to be appalling. But it's, it's average. Yeah? We're going to settle on average. It's not perfect. It's not completely devastating. It's okay. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this. And if you are a die-hard toy fan, let me know be interested to know if I do actually have any of you follow and um, subscribe to me. And that's it for just now. Any more requests, let me know and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!